she want me really cause I know the heart is Do this, I really do this, no bitch looking back at me Yo, what's up guys, as you guys saw in the preview, I'll be showing you how you can edit a Fortnite montage without plugins in DaVinci Resolve. So, uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. So, what I'm first going to cover is how to sync your clips. Uh, so, go to where the siphon starts, or where the shield first cracks for the character. So, uh, I think... So the first frame where the shield cracks, which would be right here, as you can see, the character turns blue, uh, or the, the enemy turns blue, so uh, add a marker on it, and uh, unlink the clips, so you right click, and at the bottom it says link clips, you want to uh, click on it, and like, they'll just be separate clips now, and uh, go to your song, and in the first, like, big beat drop, uh, let me just drive this clip away, and the first big beat drop. All right, so right here is where the beat drop is. So I'm at a marker with Control M or just M. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and just make sure the the clips line up. And uh, so let me just play it so to make sure it's fully synced. And uh, yeah, that's now that we're done syncing it. Uh, go into retime controls, which would be right here, control R, uh, add a speed point where the marker is, and then go 30 frames back, so that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, uh, add a speed point. And then go 15 frames forward, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And uh, so it's right in the middle, and then add another speed point. And you add a speed point by clicking on the little triangle, and then there's just this thing that says add speed point. Uh, the first speed, click on the little triangle, change speed, and make it 50. The second speed, go into the little triangle, uh, and then change it to 200. And... Uh, Go to the last speed point. The last speed point is right here and go two frames forward one two and drag By holding on the on the speed point and then drag it to where the playback head is That'd be right there and now just drag it all back by holding on the middle playback head Until the last playback or until the last uh, speed point lines up with the marker and uh, now for the last speed change it to 50 and make uh, make it 60 or yeah make it 60 frames so now that it's at 4.1 or 0 0.01 you want to uh, find 5.01 that would be right here and just split it by with control b and uh split the audio and the clip and then just cut it with backspace or just delete it with backspace so this is how it should look like Alright, so the velocity is really clean right now, and uh, now I'm going to show you guys how to do a pre-shake. Uh, so, add an adjustment clip, and uh, uh, just drag it 40 frames back. So, if this right here was 30 frames back, just go 10 frames back. So, on the last speed point, or on the first speed point that you guys added, go 10 frames before that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, just drag it so it lines up with the playback head and then cut it on the marker And then now go into the fusion tab and uh, Drag in my preset that I put in the description. It'll be called something like or is, uh, It'll be called literally just pre shake dot setting and then put it into the timeline and it should already be keyframed. Everything should be keyframed. Uh, this is how it should look like. As you can see, it adds intensity to the to the pre kill. Uh, and yeah, that should be that. Sh it should line up perfectly. Uh, make sure that the playback is on quarter resolution. And once this loads in, make sure you go into here, or into playback and timeline proxy mode check quarter resolution to make everything smoother and as you can see it will lag a bit but 
and yeah as you can see it adds a pre-shake for the kill and now go into the adjustment clip again drag it over top of the kill which should be on the marker and then trim it to where the clip ends and go into the fusion tab again and here's where i'm gonna let you guys choose what you guys want either x shake glow flicker or y shake glow flicker y shake is like the one that goes up and down and x shake is the one that basically goes sideways i'm gonna add the y shake glow flicker this comes with the flicker edition glow and a camera shake it's already keyframed i think yeah it's already keyframed uh it should look like this uh camera shake already keyframed flicker edition already keyframed and glow it's already keyframed glow will have a problem though because on every clip it's different uh right now it looks a bit too bright so i'm gonna just put it at something like 0.4 or no no not 0 0.4 0 0.6 or 0.7 yeah that should be good this personal preference obviously but i just like it to keep it like a low-key glow and uh yeah as you guys can see let me just play it back it will lag like i said before because there's just a bunch of settings into or a bunch of effects into a clip it's loading right now as you can see it's a very clean y shake with flicker and now i'm going to show you guys how to make a transition so now that i have added my second clip i'm gonna go into the uh video transitions tab right here and go and find uh the one that says uh where is it slide the slide ones uh you guys can choose whichever ones you want uh i usually choose from these either slide left or slide right i'm gonna choose slide left uh here and uh for some reason it's not actually going in between the clips it's fine but uh here just make it kind of short uh, i'd say around there that's fine should be good maybe a bit shorter there actually let's make it a bit longer because that looks that doesn't look too smooth yeah that's good yeah that's good so now just do the exact velocity that i showed you guys before uh i'm gonna speed it up here because you guys already know the velocity and like how to mark actually wait no i'm not gonna speed it up because i've not showed you guys how to do the second beat or the second beat drop so all right so right here uh there's a second beat drop right here add a marker on it again and add a marker where the character first gets shield crack right there as you can see there's a blue coming out add a marker and then just trim it down so it lines up with the with the marker on the music and uh unlink the clips like i told you guys before and now is where i'll speed it up so yeah uh next time you guys see me the velocity will already be done all right guys now i have finished my velocity and i'll play back the clip so you guys see that <laughs> yeah that it had slow-mo and then speed up and then um just uh, slow-mo at the end of the clip and then go into the effects library again and drag in an adjustment clip and then obviously trim it down to as how short the as like the how much the add it on the kill and then trim it where the clip ends and uh go into the fusion tab again uh go into your file explorers if you have downloaded my presets and find the x shake glow flicker again these will already be keyframed this one comes with a little bit of a zoom in camera shake flicker edition and a glow and uh yeah this house should look like super clean in my opinion uh obviously like i said before it will lag but uh yeah i think this should be it for you guys watching the tutorial uh since there are four effects obviously it will lag way more than the last one but i think that is it so comment what you guys want to see next and i'll see you guys next time peace